everybody, welcome back. Adam from High Desert Hollow here, coming to you from the shop, working on our smokehouse project. Uh, we're on to the stove portion of this. I'll put some footage at the end of this video of kind of where we got with putting it together. Pretty much got the smokehouse up. Uh, got to do a little bit of work still on the inside, but it's roofed on the foundation, ready to go. So now we're getting ready to put the burner section and the stove portion that'll make the smoke, that'll pipe it to the actual smokehouse itself. What I've got here is just a camp stove kit. It's a barrel stove kit. And you can see I got a big old barrel right there underneath it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of go through uh, putting this together and uh, what we would need to do, I guess. I've never used this one of these before. Made in China. Hopefully it works out all right. Uh, we'll take a look at the parts, kind of go over it and see what we need to do to put this together. So I'll bring you up here a little bit closer and we'll go over the parts and go from there. So this is all the parts out of that box. We've got uh, this is probably obviously the most biggest, most important parts to be the front door. Uh, pretty basic that way. Got our airflow control down here on the bottom. Um, I mentioned earlier this stuff's made in China and it kind of shows it a little bit. Uh, the latch is kind of kind of chintzy. I can pretty well bend it around wherever I want to go with it. Might end up rebuilding that a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Hinges, they seem to be all right, I guess. They'll probably work for what we need to do. That part seems to be pretty straightforward. Uh, have the chimney adapter with the flue in it. So we'll probably leave that in so we can control the amount of smoke and stuff to come into the smokehouse itself. You can see that there. It's got an actual natural curve built into it to match the contour of the barrel. That's good. And we got two legs. So the same thing, got the contour built into it. We'll mount those onto the bottom once we figure out where they're gonna go. A little spring handle, I'm assuming to go in there somewhere. We'll figure that part out. And even a bag full of hardware. So that'll be good, we'll use all that too. Maybe we'll have extra parts, we'll have to see. So to get started, what it's telling me to do is we need to figure out where in the barrel top we wanna to put the door and get it marked out and we'll actually cut the hole and get that ready to go. Now this kit's actually designed for a barrel without a removable lid. This one's got the steel ring around it with the tightening bolt. Uh, so I'll be able to actually get the door situated where I want it to be and then I'll be able to take it apart and then be able to work on the inside too if I need to. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not because I'm going to try to index this door. This actual barrel is not a standard 55 gallon drum. It's a government army surplus type deal. And it's got some lifting points on the sides of it that I'm going to try to keep somewhat level and get things lined up. So let's uh, go from there, I guess. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to mark this out and see what we can get figured out. So, like I was saying, there's some lifting points on the side. What I'm going to do is I've got a piece of twine here. I'm just going to tie into the center portion of these lifting sling points. Pull it straight across. I should be able to find the center between the two, I would think. All right. Got just a simple cinch knot here. I'm going to pull that tight so I can tie it off. That's straight up. That's straight up. Now, in theory, that should be a straight line. So, what we'll do is we'll mark across that. Now, what I'll do is I'll take some measurements and we'll mark out where this is the door is going to be and kind of mark out where it needs to be cut. And I'll bring you back when we get to that point. All right, time to cut it out. So, I got earplugs in now. Obviously, ever important safety glasses. I'll put on a pair of gloves. And I don't know if you can see or not very well. I ended up using soapstone at first and it didn't want to mark very well on this painted surface. So I went back over it with a Sharpie and now we'll cut it out from there. It's got a skinny wheel on this grinder too. All 
All right, just like that, we've got hole cut in, door fits just right on top of it. Looks like I'm gonna have to take the lid off. The guy that bought the barrel from said they were empty. There is uh, some foam or something in here. I'm not sure what that was in there for. I'll end up taking the lid off to get that out of there and get all that cleaned up. But uh, let's get this door mounted on here while we're here. So what I do is I'll line it up here across the top, get our right and left right, and then I'm going to mark some holes and drill some stuff here. So go from there. All right, so we got the center line marked, and I've already taken our leg, got it lined up with center, and I've got two spots marked, and I just got to go find them again. Got the spots marked mark there and there, and there and there. I'll center punch those, drill them out, and we'll get the front leg to set, and then we'll set the back leg after that. Just like that. Now we'll get that other back leg propped up underneath it, and we should be getting close. Okay, so what we've got done now is we've got the door cut in and all mounted up. We took the lid off, emptied all the stuff out that was in the inside, got it leveled up, and the legs mounted for on the bottom, marked out, drilled, mounted on there. We've got the front back on it, and it's all good and level. We've got everything back where it belongs. The ceiling band back on. Now all we got left to do is put the uh, collar on for the exhaust. Now, it has the damper built into this. I took the damper out so that way I could mark the hole where I need to cut and the, and the holes I need to drill to put these all in here. Um, that being said, on a normal situation, I would probably put it right on top, right about there, where it goes straight up and out. If you remember where the smokehouse is at, I've got this set up so that way it's going to be just downhill from it a little ways, and the smokehouse is going to actually be kind of where you guys are at right now, where the camera's at. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shift this collar down off the side so I don't have to come up and go over. It'll be more of a sweeping angle in. I think I'm actually, and we're trying to figure out how far over to go right now. And I'm actually thinking someplace right about there is what I had in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my circle in there. I'm going to come back, mark all my screw holes. And then we'll go from there. I'll cut that out and drill the holes and we'll get that collar mounted on there.
All right, everybody. So that is the barrel stove portion of the smokehouse build that we're doing. Uh, for the most part, the parts went together really well. Uh, there was a couple questionable deals where I think, like I said, that was just because it was a uh, foreign build. But uh, for the most part, everything laid out really well. Uh, we still got to put the damper back in, but I want to be able to put the chimney on first and then run the damper rod through the chimney that's coming off of here. So that won't go back in until we put it back out on the smokehouse. Like I said at the beginning of the video, stay tuned. I'll put some time-lapse stuff in of, us, of me actually putting the smokehouse up and kind of give you an idea where that's at there. Anyways, we're just here trying to live more self-reliant lifestyle and promote modern homesteading. This is Adam with High Desert Hollow, signing out.